Welcome and good evening at the screen of Minalini ENN. I am Tanya. Follow me for the news update. On Tuesday, the ongoing councillor of the Agartala Municipal Corporation rescinded the state government notice abolishing more than 6,000 PMA allotted houses and said that the state government must consider the matter on humanitarian ground as most of the beneficiaries are from underprivileged section of the society. Former Deputy Mayor Shamar Chakravarti said they have seen a notification from the AMC that cancelled 6,001 allotted houses under Pradhan Mantri Yojona. Such a decision at a time when the clouds of uncertainty hovering over our future seems undesirable. At the same time, the call for the state government should review its decision. <laughs> সেখানে দেখা গেছে তিন দিনের পত্রিকা আছে প্রায় ছ হাজার একশোর উপর ঘর বাতিল হওয়ার জন্য একটা নোটিশ দেওয়া হয়েছে এবং খুব শর্ট টাইমে এগারো তারিখের মধ্যে বলা হয়েছে তাদেরকে জানানোর জন্য আমরা লক্ষ্য করলাম যে আঠেরোতে এই সময়তে একটা কোভিড সিচুয়েশন তারপরে এখন করোনা কাজ চলছে মানুষের কাজ তো মনে এবং যারা ঘর পেয়েছে তারা তো সবাই একেবারে গরিব থেকে গরিব একটা মানুষ তারা বছর দেড়েক ধরে তাদের কোনো কাজই নেই খাবারই দুবার করতে পারছে না ঘর করবে কোনো সময় কাজে তার জন্য আমরা বলছি যে বিষয়টা একটু মানবিক দৃষ্টিভঙ্গিতে বিচার করার জন্য এগারো তারিখ যে লাস্ট ডেট দেওয়া আছে সেটা যেন একটু হ্যাঁ পিছিয়ে দেয় এবং বাড়ি বাড়ি নোটিস দেওয়া তাদের সাথে গিয়ে কথাবার্তা বলা মিউনিসিপালিটি স্টাফ ওয়ার্ড থেকে যে তারা গিয়ে কথা বলা এবং যাতে একটা মানবিক দৃষ্টিভঙ্গি নিয়ে এটা করা হয় এত তাড়াহুড়ো করে যেন ঘরগুলি বাতিল করা না হয় কারণ সবাই হচ্ছে গরিব মানুষের মানুষ সমজীবী মানুষ তাদের রোজগার নিয়ে তারা এখন কী করে করবে করে কাজে এই জন্য এই বিষয়ে আমরা আজকে কমিশনের সাথে মিলিত হয়ে এই আবেদনটা রাখবো আমরা যারা এক এম আই সি মেম্বাররা আছে আমাদের পক্ষ থেকে আজকে এটা জানাবো এই জন্য আমরা এসেছি থ্যাংক ইউ The fire broke out at the water purification chemical factory yesterday. According to the sources, 10 people are still missing. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed his condolences. A fire at a chemical factory in Pune, Maharashtra has killed 18 people. The fire broke out at the water purification chemical factory yesterday afternoon. It is learned that a lot of plastic was also stored in the factory. That is why the fire spread quickly. Firefighter recovered 18 bodies. According to sources, 10 people are still missing. It is learned that the name of the company is SBS Aqua Technologies. The factory of that company is in Pune. Suddenly, black smoke was seen coming out on Monday. Within moments, the fire spread. Alcohol is needed to make sanitizers, which ignite when in contact with fire. The factory was stocked with large quantities of alcohol. The fire spread quickly due to the stored alcohol. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed his condolence over the loss of life in the place. The Prime Minister office has announced financial assistance of Rs. 2 lakh per family of the DC. Narendra Modi has ordered an investigation into how the fire started. The Prime Minister tweeted on the same day that a fire broke out in a factory in Pune, Maharashtra. Condolences to the family of the deceased. President Ramnath Kavin has expressed grief over the incident. The President tweeted that a fire at a Pune factory had claimed the lives of our workers, including women. It is extremely unfortunate. My condolences to the family of the deceased. I wish the injured a speedy recovery. But how did the fire start? Investigations suggest the fire was caused by a short circuit. Twelve engines reached the spot. Machines were also brought to rescue the workers. According to sources, at least 36 workers were working in the factory at the time of the incident. The fire brigade was called into to control the fire. According to the latest news, 20 people have been rescued. The fire brigade recovered 18 bodies. Most of the dead were women. The fire brigade is searching for the rest. The tasty and the ripe full pie apples have reached the market. The price of the pie apple is rupees 50 to rupees 60. With COVID, the rain is also hampering the business, as told by one of the pineapple seller. Like last year, this year also they are facing loss. If the situation returns to normal, then the price will reduce automatically. দুইটার মধ্যে তো আমরা সকালে মাল টাল না গোসাই করতে হতো দুইটা একটা দেড়টা বাইচা জায়গা তারপর বৃষ্টি বাপলা দোকানদারি করতেই না এখানে বৃষ্টি হইলে জল উঠছে জায়গা আমার বাসায় লইয়া জায়গা 
मालिकी माल आसे पतन पावा जाए तार पर किन्तु बिकित तो बालो ना बिकित बालो दोनों बारे क्या बोल रहे हैं क्या बोल एक बस रोज़ बैठते हैं बहुतों बस रोज़ लोग ड्रोन कराए सी लोग ड्रोन कराए तस्वीर की बोल रहे हैं बस बालो को इतनी क्या मानुष ऐसा का बोल रहा है बात है या नानुष के तो तो हम लोग तो A fire broke out at Mother Mitra's house. Firefighters put out the fire with the help of a two engine. Mother Mitra fell ill after the incident. A fire broke out at Mother Mitra's house at 7 p.m. The house down was stairs was burnt to ashes. The MLA and his family members escaped unhurt. Firefighters put out the fire with the help of two engines. Mother Mitra fell ill after the incident. He said, it is known that the most of the time he lives alone in the flat of the creation. Mother Mitra's ancestral home in Bhavanipur is a home to his wife, two sons and other members of the family. However, he came home yesterday. After eating and drinking at night, everyone has gone to the second floor. Mother Mitra said, he woke up in the morning. When you get out of the bed and go to drink water, suddenly black smoke enters his eyes and face. He felt ill. Then he noticed that a fire was burning in the room on the ground floor of the house. Other members of the family, including Mother Mitra, rushed out of the house. Upon receiving the news, two fire engines reached the spot. After a while, the firefighters put out the fire, but then there was nothing left in that room. The fire consumed everything. Investigations suggest the house got fired due to a short circuit. On Tuesday, an old man who had gone to the nearby jungle to collect firewood was trampled to death by a wild elephant near a jungle at Teliamura. Once again, one person died in a wild elephant attack. The incident took place in Teliamura forest on Monday at the same point in the day. According to reports, Shunil Garmakar, a resident of Teliamura colony, went to the forest on Monday to collect firewood with, from the area. After a while, they saw a wild elephant in the forest. The other person who was with Shunil Karmakar somehow managed to escape from their park. Shunil could not come again back. Later, the news was given to the ADS team of the forest department. After much searching, no trace of Shunil was found. On Tuesday morning, the ADS team of the forest department, locals and volunteers from the area engaged in searching the elephant went to the search the forest again and found the frozen body of the Shunil Karmakar. Another person who was with Shunil saw an elephant in the forest at that time. News of the incident reached Teliamura police station at Teliamura forest department. Upon receiving the news of the incident, police and the forest department personnel rushed to the spot. Police and forest officials recovered Shunil Karmakar's frozen body from the spot and brought it to Teliamura Subdivisional Hospital for an autospy. Although Shunil Devna died in the elephant attack, there may be another mystery behind his death. Everything will become clear after the autospy and the police investigation. However, according to the local sources, Shunil Karmakar was always drunk and Shunil Karmakar lived alone in this village. He used to collect fire wood from the forest and sell it in the market. The incident casted a shadow of mourning over the area. The people of those areas are facing serious problems due to the wild elephant violence. However, the forest department had warned in the area that no one should go to this forest as the elephant position is in forest. Elephant attacks have caused a number of deaths in recent months. Yet, the forest department solved everyone's deep আমাদের বাড়িতে দুজন আমরা খাদ্য করলাম খাদ্য করে বলছে চলো যাই পাহাড়ে তো বললাম পাহাড়ে যাই যাব কিন্তু পার তো হাতি নেমেছে ও বিছনা সামনে থেকে নিয়ে আসবো তো বললাম আমি তো ঠিক আছে চলো তো বলছে না এখন রাখলে চলো নিয়ে আসবো নিয়ে আসবো তাই বললো আমি যাবো না তুমি চলে যাও ওই জন্য কথা বললাম তার সাথে কথা বললাম তা আমার সাথে তারা হয়ে গেলি জানো তুমি কিনে রাখো তো हाथी नेमे चाहे दी जाए कुन आक्रमण होय बोले केका के बसाबे बोले किछो बोले चलो तब से हम गेलो 
कंटिन्यूंग पीपल्स रिलीफ भलेंटियर आगरतला अंचल कर्मी विगत पाँच दिन धरे तारा आगरतला शहर मानुषर मध्य रान्ना खबर वितरण कर आगामी दिनों तर प्रयास जारी थक शुदुम्र आगरतला अंचल ना विभिन्न अंचले आगरतला शहर विभिन्न प्रान पीपल्स रिलीफ भलेंटियर कर्मी कौ सैनिटाइजेशन क्ज कर मास्क सबान यी वितरण कर जरा होम आइसोलेशने आ ते मध्य खाद्य सामग्री पोचे देवा हे अक्सिजें पोचे देवा हे नतून कर रानना करा खबर साधारण मानुषर मध्य पोचे देवा हमें मन करी जो करुणार ये अतिमार समय ये हमारे मानविक क्ज एट तर मध्य दया दाक्षिण्य देखान जन ही क्या करा ये सामाजिक दायबद्धता थे क्ज करी आगामी दिन मानुषे सहाज्य सहयोगता नहीं ordinary people are suffering from the various microfinance institution which has growing like a frog's umbrella the pressure on the common people for the installment money are many ordinary people have to give their lives ordinary people are suffering from the various microfinance institution in the state of tripura which is grown like a frog's umbrella they were first entertained the people were gathered in the neighborhood and not paid funds from them the pressure on the common people for installment money started and many ordinary people had to give their life for this installment money all these microfinance companies are spreading from the villages of different areas in the state of tripura to the different parts of the cities and microfinance companies are falling prey to the temptation of money and after repaying the loan the method of collecting their installments become different and that why the general public is been beaten the general public is shocked at the current cowardly situation all over the country and can't stand the pressure of the installment money of all these microfinance companies Many ordinary people have chosen the alternative path of death. In view of current COVID pandemic, all the microfinance companies in the state of Tripura are holding meeting and with the heads of all the bank finance companies, not to ensure that they do not pay instalment at to the general public and do not pressure out anyone. A few days after today, in his office, they all the microfinance companies are informed so that not to pressurize the customers. covid can't do anything in this situation and they can't pay anything the employees of the certain company got angry and started abusing them in different languages in any case they have to pay the money now that all these families became helpless with gathered and detained the scooters along with the staff of the company he told the media that even after the media ran away the staff of the company was not willing to say his name and he could not say anything about what the deputy chief minister said according to them when the media also went to see he did not felt the need to show the god himself the language used by the working families of the area when they approached the media and insulted them eventually the company's workers somehow escaped from there in a such a way that this company provided loans to the general 
public in various ways. It seems that in the first instance, the general public can repay the money in any way. But from the next month onward, the general working family is shocked to see the method of repaying the loan. All the microfinance company that has sprung up like a frog's umbrella give loan in some areas of their choice. But the general public is shocked to pay off some kind of loan. At present, an employee of microfinance company suddenly fled from there and covered his body. after many days there are less than one lakh daily corona infections in the country the daily death toll is a little over 2000 according to the statistics of the union ministry of health on tuesday 86498 people have been infected in the last 24 hours in the country India recorded 86,498 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, which is the country's lowest single-day rise in 66 days, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare said on Tuesday. The daily new cases were reported less than one lakh after 63 days, and the weekly positivity rate now stands at 5.94%. Whereas the daily positivity rate is at 4.62 percent. As per the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's total COVID-19 caseload has now increased to large number, of which there are many active cases. Between Monday and Tuesday morning, the country also recorded 2,123 coronavirus-related fatalities that took the death toll to 3,51,309. One lakh eighty-two thousand two hundred and eighty-two patients recovered from the virus in the last twenty-four hours, and took the total number of COVID-19 recoveries across the country to two point seven three crores. The recovery rate now stands at ninety-four point two nine percent. Earlier on Monday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation and expressed condolences for the people who lost their lives in the pandemic. He termed the pandemic as the biggest calamity of the last hundred years and said that the country fought the pandemic on many fronts. The Indian Oil Corporation provided an ambulance to the Red Cross Society. The ambulance was handed over to the Agartala TMC Hospital authorities by the Red Cross Society on Tuesday. Prashanjit Vishwas, General Secretary, Indian Red Cross Society, Dr. Manik Shah, Professor of Tripura Medical College, and the President TCA were also present. Dr. Manik Shah, a professor at the Tripura Medical College and the President of TCA, said the provision of the ambulance from the Indian Oil Corporation SCR Fund would help the hospital. in this corona situation mana amar amar aapke liye hum 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 There is a lack of bread and butter among the people during this pandemic situation but there is an organization called friend named Shudeep named Shudeep is working but with this conspiracy has started in the political arena 
corona curfew has been imposed in the state during the corona period. In this situation, there is a lack of bread and butter among the people. With special emphasis, an organization called Friends Name Shudip, led by Emily Shudip Roy Borman, has been assisting poor people in various parts of the state and the people in home quarantine. With this, new rumors have been started in the politics of the state. In the end, another reformist, MLA Shushanto Chodhuri, was explosive about this. He said that the people of the state are saying just the name of his friend Shudip. It is just a caption. With this caption in front of them, the youth have jumped from the people during this pandemic. Corona is cooperating with the affected families. And this caption is gaining a lot of popularity in the villages and hills, which was as popular as the Cholo Palte caption before 2018, meaning the name of France like Cholo Palte is being heard among the people. The name of the friend called Shudip is being heard from the age of 6 years to the age of 80 years. The name of the friend named Shudip was not given by MLA Shudip Roy Bormon himself, but the name was given by the followers of MLA Shudip Roy Bormon. Those who want to do politics with Shudip Roy Bormon in the future as well as in the past, and the name of his friend Shudip is now gaining popularity among people. However, for those who are commenting on this name, saying that the name of the friend is Biplop Dev, MLA Shushanto Chodhuri said, there is no competition for human service. However, the friend's name is not a fake. Shudhi's friend name is changed only once. No one can take away Shudhi's friend name. People said he was not a fool. However, the idea is that the caption of the friend's name Shudhi will not be limited to this Corona situation. Friends named Shudip will fight in 2023. All that becomes clear is that the friends name is Shudip. Shudip's followers are friends who may be eager to start a new horizon in the political of the state, which is a kind of indirect warning to the reformist legislators. যে বন্ধুর নাম সুদীপ এটা একটা ক্যাপশন এবং এই ক্যাপশন দিয়ে সারা রাজ্যে বিশেষ করে যুব সম্প্রদায়ের ছেলেরা কাজে ঝাঁপিয়ে পড়েছে করোনা মহামারীতে যারা আক্রান্ত সেই সমস্ত পরিবারকে সাহায্য সহায়তা প্রদান করার জন্য এবং ইতিমধ্যে এটা অনেক জনপ্রিয়তা অর্জন করেছে ছেলেরা মাঠে থেকে করোনা মহামারীর বিরুদ্ধে এবং করোনায় যারা আক্রান্ত সেই সমস্ত পরিবারগুলোর পাশে দাঁড়িয়েছে সারা রাজ্যেই এই কর্মকাণ্ড আমরা দেখতে পাচ্ছি আপনারা নিশ্চয়ই জানবেন আমি যা স্মরণ করিয়ে দিতে চাইব যে দু সালের বিধানসভা নির্বাচনের আগে একটা স্লোগান খুব জনপ্রিয় হয়েছিল চলো পাল্টাই এবং এই স্লোগানটা যেই প্রদান করেছিল কেউ না কেউ তো স্লোগানটাকে আবিষ্কার করেছে তারপরে একটা ছ বছরের শিশু থেকে শুরু করে আশি বছরের একটা বৃদ্ধ বা বৃদ্ধা তার মুখে এই চলপাল্টায় স্লোগানটা আমরা শুনতে পেয়েছি এবং রাজ্যের আপম জনসাধারণ চলপাল্টায় যে স্লোগান সেটাকে গ্রহণ করেছিল এবং পাল্টানোর যে একটা তাগিদ একটা চাহিদা সে জিনিসটা আমরা মানুষের মধ্যে পরিস্ফুটিত মানে লক্ষ্য করেছিলাম মানে সব পরিস্ফুটিত হয়েছিল ঠিক তেমনি আজকেও বন্ধুর নাম সুদীপ এই যে ক্যাপশন সেটা চলপাল্টে এর মতোই একটা আমি বলবো যে জনপ্রিয়তা অর্জন করেছে যেটা মানুষের মুখে মুখে ছিল চলপাল্টে আজকেও বন্ধুর নাম সুদীপ সেটা মানুষের মুখে মুখে এসে গেছে তো একটা ছ বছরের বাচ্চা থেকে শুরু করে আশি বছরের একটা বৃদ্ধ লোক বলছে যে বন্ধুর নাম সুদীপ বিয়োর রিপোর্ট মিনালিনী ইয়ানেন
Such incident came to light in the construction of government building houses with the money of electricity theft and also in the construction of a new building houses. The contractor has been stealing things from the power department for a long time and has been working on the new building for a long time. As soon as the incident came to the light, the whole Amarpur subdivision was bulged. During the left period, the same type of contractor was engaged in the government work at different times. In the financial year 2018 to 2017, about the 3 crore 20 lakh rupees had been allocated for two-story building work in Amarpur subdivisional court. Naresh, uh, contractor Naresh Bhomik was allotted that work. Although the work started at the right time, the quality of the work is being questioned. In addition, the contractor is continuing the work of his new building by stealing electricity things. <laughs> বিল্ডিং <laughs> One person was seriously injured when a maxi truck loaded with a cement overturned. The incident took place at around 2 p.m. on Tuesday in Gandachara Narayanpur Devnath Para area. It is learned that a maxi truck number TR041769 was going to Raishabani from Gandachara market with a cement. The driver lost his control and overturned on the side of the road as soon as the vehicle reached the Narayanpur Devnath Para area. One person was seriously injured when the eyewitness informed the Gandachara fire department. Immediately they rushed to the spot. The Fire Brigade personnel took the injured to the hospital. He, as soon as the news of the accident spread, panic spread in the whole area. Gundasra Bazar Tiket, Mixi Track, PR04, Gari Number, Sotro Unusotu, Isum Malvolte, Similuya, Rochevar Digger on a Dislo, Rona Dampore, Narempur, Bodga Sumunite. এভাবে নিয়ন্ত্রণ হারিয়ে পাল্টি খেয়েছে গাড়িটা এটা কমানোর মতো না একজন ভদ্রলোক আহত ইমার্জেন্সি আর্জেন্টলিভাবে হেরে ফায়ার সার্ভিসে গাড়ি দিয়ে নেওয়া হয়েছে তো এভাবে যদি গাড়ি যদি চালকরা যদি চালায় নিয়ন্ত্রণ হারিয়ে তাহলে আরও বড় ধরনের ভবিষ্যতে আবার এরকম ঘটনা করতে পারে তো সব যারা ড্রাইভার তাদেরকে আমি অনুরোধ করি গাড়ি চালকদেরকে যাতে কেউ যাতে এভাবে গাড়ি না চালায় Thank you for watching. For more and regular updates, stay tuned at the screen of Minalini ENN. For live telecast, type www.minaliniENN.com. Thank you.